Hi everyone, I'm going to make a lolly this time. And we go from uh, object mode to edit mode. We select the face and we bring it more, let's say to half of it, something like that. Okay. And we're going to enlarge that one until here. Make this one a little bigger, like that. This is uh, just to start with. Um, now we're going to separate uh, these pieces in half, in, in three. So uh, we press Control R to go over there. And now we turn the wheel until we have two of them. Left mouse click, and now we can move them up or down. Select what you want and press left mouse click. We're going to uh, the top and we're going to change the top so for a little bit more conical uh, look but first of all we're going to see what it will look like uh, afterwards so we're going to add a modifier and the modifier is called subdivision surface select it and go to view 4 do not press apply until the end now uh, we're going to select uh, the top edge plus edge selection underneath right click on that one shift right click on that one shift on, and right click shift on that one now we're going to scale it by pressing s y and we bring them a little more to the other uh, we select that vertice and the vertice on the on the rear and uh, we're going to subdivide it meaning that we're going to split them in two and there's already directly uh, an uh, edge drawn and we have two faces. Now we're going to select the edge in the middle and we're going to lift it a little bit. So you already see the, the top shape coming. Now uh, we'll go back to the middle and we're going to the middle, we're going to enlarge that one. So we use the right click on that one and we use the B selection tool. But before we use the B selection tool, we're going to add here something and uh, this is just a visible edge selections that will be selected if we now press then we select everything the, the ones that we don't see also so we press b left mouse click drag to the right and now every edge is selected pressing s y to enlarging it a little bit or to bring it smaller so i'm going to enlarge it a little bit and we're going to bring it a little more down or a little more up it's, it's depending what you want i'm Mine is looking better, I think, like that. And we're going to do the same over here. Thus, we're going to select B, S, Y, to make it larger. And it starts to look like a lolly. Like that. Okay, that's good. But for me, this is too much uh, radius, so I want to reduce that. I'm going to put an extra Control R in over here and just move it a little bit aside so it selects that uh, view left mouse click and now bring it more down that it looks more or less like you want okay uh, i'm going to select that one and make it a little larger so i want a, a little more straighten this side so i'm pressing b to select everything we're going to scale in y direction so s y and we're going to make it you, you can choose whatever you want it's the shape like you you want it but mine is looking more like this so if we look aside this is not looking like a lolly so we're going to add these radiuses are too much and uh, in the front and the back so we're going to add uh, control r in that direction also and you look you see already jumped into that if you say okay this is looking good leave it yeah if you're uh, adding another one like that, you say, okay, that's good. And you'll want it in the front also. Press Control R again. Move it aside like you see. It jumps to another uh, face. Click on it and move it forwards like you want it to look. And now your lolly is looking more like a lolly. Now we're going to uh, look at the handle. We switch off the invisible brush. And we're going to look underneath. We select the top edge and the edge underneath and we're going to subdivide it same as we did uh, a few seconds ago and we're going to select that uh, edge and we move it aside and this will be the thickness of of the stick we're going to the knife symbol over there and we're going to add another cell and another division or 
you could do it like that or there's another possibility you can show you the, first I'm going to show you that one yes yeah, so left mouse click and when it's over there you're pressing enter and you got one uh, now you can straighten it by vertex selections just select the vertex of that one and move it aside until it's straight uh, if it is uh, if you don't want to use a knife you could select that edge that edge and simplify it again and you get another one good uh, we use face selection now and we're going to use this face selection we're going to separate it again in one in two okay and now we're going to select what we want and I want that one that one that one that one that one that one, that one, that one. okay this is good and now we're going to add the stick by pressing E Z because it is in Z direction but don't go too far otherwise you get these uh, nasty uh, radius and I don't want them so make a smaller uh, one and now we're going to enlarge it again by pressing E Z again and if I let it like that you will see that your stick is sorry I'm gonna press it your stick has a very large radius and I don't want that I want a small radius so I do again EZ and I bring out a very small piece now and it's look rather like that so it's looking more okay for me uh, yeah I see something that is not very common for me. okay we're going to select that edge so edge selection that one and pressing alt that one and we're going to move it a little bit more to, the, to here because it was too much and we're going to use that one alt selection that one and we're going to put that one also a little more to here okay this is looking more nice now we're going to add some colors uh, go to the material button over there and assign your basic uh, material and we're going to use as basic material yellow and we choose yellow as basic color put that over there and we can here switch pick that one I'm going to add another material on the same uh, part just plus over there add new red for instance I'm going to do it quickly so it's not that important for me it's just to show you how it's working I'm going to add in the third one I'm calling this one green this is the green one okay going to add one is looking as wood this is for the stick and I'm going to choose a not so bright one like that and I need the last one and you see why a little later chocolate I'm going to put in the hex code for that it's 61 637 okay and we pick up like that okay now we have every uh, color that we want and now we're going to shape them um, we use face selection and we're going to select uh, the faces that we want to color so shift right click right click right click right -click, right click right click right click or you can do it with uh, another button uh, you can do it with the C button uh, you can do selection is like you want uh, I want that part in let's say green because you, you click on green and then the side and then this is uh, already done you select underneath with the shift pressed in the other faces you want and I'm going to say this one I want in red so I got that and underneath I want uh, these parts all wooden so uh, we're going to select what I want over here and you select every face you like to get in that color don't forget the top You could use a, a C button for that or the B button. I think we're almost there. Let's look good. Uh, okay, here. 
uh, and we're going to say wood and assign so this is done now we go to object mode and uh, we're going to make a copy just control d and we're going to copy it and we're going to put it next to the other one like that okay are we going to change uh, go back in edit mode and we're going to select uh, a few faces back again and we're going to make them look like a chocolate cream lolly I don't know like this Uh, I forgot these. Okay, I'm going to ah the smaller probably better to select them also. We're going to say chocolate and a sign. I've forgotten one. This one, chocolate and a sign. Okay, this is looking good. So this is done. Um, if uh, a last thing probably okay no it's looking good okay now to uh, to render we, we go to press zero go to object mode and press the end button and when you press the end button you will see that there is some uh, item here called lock camera view to view click on that and now if you scale or make it turn or whatever you like you can bring him in into camera view and if you're pleased with it let's say for instance that is good okay you can say okay as uh, it's looking nice and we go to uh, pressing zero again to go to that mode and we're going to add a few uh, lights we're going to put that light here, over here and press uh, two control d we're going to press to bring it somewhere over there it's not too far just over there over the the downsides okay we're going to have a look at the render that's uh, to render press render and ah well I forgot one thing this is looking nice but forgotten one thing we're going to select that one and going to smoothen it we're going to select that one and smoothen it and we're going to render it again and now you see that I have two lollies one in chocolate and one in a three color thank you and uh, if you like it please subscribe to my channel bye